Hi, I'm Joy. I'm from Hope Leeds, United Kingdom or England. Uh, after a few years, Pastor Prakit have um, challenged me again to another level of, of leadership and he have asked me to be his assistant pastor uh, and that is like two, three years ago. His responsibilities in Hope Europe is also as well growing at, the at that time. So I pray and I seek God and uh, have fasted for it as well. And uh, yeah, with the God's prompting, I have taken that challenge to, uh, to, be, um, to be the assistant pastor of Hope Leads. And uh, initially, there was a lot of insecurities in me when I took this challenge uh, uh, to be his assistant pastor. There was time that I said to pastor, Pastor, I don't feel like I am pastoring the church. I feel like I want to stop already because I feel like I'm incapable of all this, of, do, uh, of doing it. But because of his uh, mentoring and uh, his uh, encouragement and the, together with the encouragement of my brothers and sisters, I still continue uh, to, do, uh, uh, to be the, uh, the assistant pastor. And I think a few years back again, another challenge came and, um, and he asked me, would you like to, be, uh, to, to say that you are already the pastor of, uh, of the church? And, um, and I said, oops. Uh, I mean, that's a great responsibility to be assistant and of course I still could be able to hide behind his shadow or behind his back, but uh, now it's a different level. So yeah, with the seeking, praying as well, I said, Lord, if this is your way, you want me to serve you in this level, then please. I, I was just asking God for some signs as well. And uh, of course, what I really prayed at that time is, Lord, help me to love your people. I don't know where you're going to, how I'm going to do it. So I took that challenge uh, as well. But uh, God has been so gracious to me. He has helped me through, uh, through, uh, through those years as well. Helping me with my insecurities, helping me with my s lack of self-confidence in, in leading His people and uh, letting me see that He is uh, at work. There's one thing that I would like to share of what God has done in the, in the church and this have really given me a great encouragement from God. God have uh, given me this Bible verse uh, when I was like welcoming the people and that was last year and he have reminded me in the book of Acts chapter 2 verses 42 to 47. Every day the people gather together in the temple, temple courts and what do the people do at the time? They come together to pray to study the Word of God, to share their lives with one another. And what really struck me after, after that, in the verse 47, when it said that, and the Lord added to their numbers daily. And that is the promise that I keep on clinging onto the Lord since I, have take, uh, since I have said yes to Him as well. And since last year, that is the promise that He have given me. And the Lord added to their numbers daily. Every Sunday, as I stand at the door of the church to welcome the people, all I could keep on saying to, uh, to, to myself, and the Lord added the, to their numbers daily. And the Lord added to their numbers daily. God is so faithful to His Word that there were times uh, in the previous months that people that we don't know, people that we don't even invite, come to the church. And every time after the Sunday service, I will ask the people who's whose friends are those who have invited those people. And nobody will be able to say to me that I have invited a person. No, we, and everyone, they say that, oh, we don't know who, who's, this uh, who's this person. Clicked on me of what God's promised, that he truly God have said, and the Lord added to their numbers daily. It is God who could bring in to the people. And that's what I keep on, on uh, sharing and asking our, our leaders is that to keep on doing what is right. I would like to end my testimony by challenging everyone that uh, God can use anybody with broken past and He can uh, lead you to a different level. So if ever you could come to England, come and visit us. Feel free to come and visit Leeds. Thank you.